Hi, this is Tyler Youngs, and I'm going to be showing you uh, my project for this semester for I-494 Informatics Capstone. Um, the project was to use the Oculus Rift and come up with a creative new new way to uh, utilize its technology. So, what I've chosen to do was um, I integrated another project we did, which worked with 3D scanning. And the first thing I did was I captured a scan. So let me import one of those meshes and I'll show you. And this is Met, the program called Mesh Lab. So we have the scan here. And when you get a, a fresh scan, you'll have you won't have this on the bottom. You have to actually cut it. So you go over here, select faces in a rectangular, whatever, and just highlight what you want to delete and hit the delete key. Uh, you have to fill the holes as well and once you do all that uh, you're going to export the mesh and you can export it as whatever you want but for the, for our project we're going to go to Blender and STL just works the best I think so export the mesh as the uh, STL file and once you do that open Blender and this is a different scan that, that we captured. And the first thing you're going to do is transform to origin. So go down here to object, go over to transform, and go to geometry to origin. And that'll make your your unit right in the center of the uh, axis here. And that keeps it all in line so that whenever you export to the Unreal Development Kit, you uh, you have your object right centered, right where it should be. And next we have to add a modifier. And that's going to be, you, you just click on your object, go over to the, uh, the tools, that the modifiers tab, and hit add modifier, and then go down to decimate. And click decimate, and you get this little menu right here. Um, you, what you have to do is keep the, vert, the vertices under 59,000, I think is what it is right now, for UDK. So just play around with this and... Um, set, try setting it to half instead of full 1.0, set it to 0.5 and whenever the vertices go below 59,000 then you're in the clear so here it just worked out to where half was pretty good uh, and uh, I was able to export this file uh, first you have to, after you lower the vertices then you have to go over here and smooth out the object so you hit smooth and it smooth pretty much always looks better so you can try it out and if if you don't like the way smooth looks then go back to flat but uh, I personally think smooth looks better I mean that's kinda jagged so you smooth out your object and then you uh, then you go to file and export <coughs> an Autodesk FBX. Uh, that's the file format that UDK uses. So I leave everything here as default. Uh, the only thing I change is the scale. Um, different scans require a different scalability. Uh, I think my first scan was really, really high scale. I think I scaled it up to like 7,000 or something, but uh, which I think there's a ceiling of 1,000. So anyway, um, set that scale. <coughs> Try it around 55, and if it if you if your image is too big later, you can scale it back down. So you export, save your file type, hit export to FBX. Then we're going to open up the Unreal Development Kit, and here's a this is just a map I've been working on here. But you want to open your content browser. You can click this button, and you go to import, and click on whatever you want to import. Um, I've already imported everything, but once you get to your, I'll just show you for demonstration purposes. Once you get to this menu, just hit OK to all, and it's going to say, it's going to say this right here. Too many faces, that's not really a big deal, because we're going to work with the faces here in a second. So, you do that, it imports for a while. I'm going to pause it while it's done. Okay, so once you've got your your mesh uh, in your software, it's really simple to just 
you just click it and you drag it over and drop it and then it'll put it wherever you want and you can arrange it uh, you can move it back with the green arrow, you can move it over to the side with the red, up and down and it's pretty much self-explanatory uh, this is our project manager I thought he was funny being a giant so anyway now we're going to get on with the Unreal uh, development kit with the Oculus Rift. So this is what my this is kind of what my project wanted to uh, to focus on. So you can hit Run in Editor, or you can run it on your PC. And we're going to save our package and all that. All right. So this is the Unreal development kit right here. Looks like they're a little too low, so I'll probably raise them up because they're sitting on the ground. But now we can walk around our images. Uh, there's a collision mesh for all of them that was generated. I actually forgot to show that, but uh, the collision mesh is pretty simple. I mean, you can find a tutorial on Google or anywhere to do an auto collision mesh. But you don't actually have to build your own collision mesh in Blender. You can use UDK to build it for you. So anyway, uh, once you get in here, then to turn on the Oculus Rift, let me go to Google and get the... You have to do Stereo On and HMD Warp On. So HMD Warp On, Stereo On. And as you can see, uh, well, it's kind of screwed up because I don't have the Oculus Rift plugged in, but uh, I can tell you that it works. Trust me. Um, when you plug your Rift in, you enter those two commands, and everything works. And you can see, you can see yourself. You can see all all the stuff that you put in your map in 3D. It's really cool. Uh, and that's my project. Let me actually let me show you how to build a collision mesh real quick. You just double click on the static mesh that you get. When you import it, it'll say there's no collision mesh found. So you double click on the mesh, you go to collision, and you go to auto convex collision. Just leave the defaults and then hit apply. And it'll take about a minute to render the collision image. <coughs> but yeah, once you're finished with that, you should be good to go. So that's my project for the semester for I-495. Thank you.